Tyler Davis, questions for Tyler? Uh, you came here and kind of, uh, uh, I guess, a leap of faith. And it's maybe not been the season you would like in terms of offensive production, that kind of thing, but it seems like now things are starting to get going and you're starting to, to reap some of those rewards. Well, it's just cool in general to see how far we've come. I think that's been the biggest thing uh, for me is how proud I am of how far we've come so far. Like I said it before, uh, seeing a day one of spring ball, uh, seeing a transition from what they ran here in the past uh, to what we're doing now, it's really impressive to see the guys, how uh, they've taken accountability and, uh, and they're hungry to, to succeed and how hard they want to work to, to be successful. So I think uh, just as a whole, uh, it's not about me, you know what I mean? It's about us. And uh, it's cool to see the offense really rolling towards uh, recently like we have been. James said he, he likes to, now he wants to look for you on third down. Is that right. something the two of you have talked about? Or? Uh, I think it's just as the season's gone by. Uh, I think uh, he's been doing a good job of seeing the field recently. I think he's really starting to get some things, and uh, he's doing a great job. So, uh, I mean, you guys see it. Uh, he had a heck of a game last game, right? Uh, right. So he set a couple of records, right, since 2007, right, uh, for completion. So uh, he's doing an awesome job, and uh, it's really coming along, and uh, the points are coming, and uh, the offense is really starting to click. You're playing a very aggressive defense this week that likes to crowd the box, and that may present some opportunities for you in terms of the pass game, but also means probably some res responsibility in terms of blocking that kind of thing. Right. Do you like playing teams that are more aggressive like that versus ones that sit back and won't cover? Right. Uh, I mean, every defense is different. Um, I think uh, it's good to go against uh, a challenging defense like this one. They present a lot of challenges, and it's going to be a good challenge for our offense to see where we're at right now. Um, so we're excited for the challenge. Um, and whatever opens up, it opens up, whether it's the receivers, the tie downs, the running backs, uh, whatever opens up uh, is great. Was that, oh, no, go ahead. was that the closest that you've seen the offense taking what you guys do in practice and what we've seen since the spring uh, onto the field? Was it the last game, maybe? Yeah, probably. Putting it all together wise, executing, yeah, I'd say so. I mean, and then you can see on the sideline, this, the energy is just contagious. You know what I mean? One guy makes a play, AB makes a play, and then everyone's going nuts. Uh, the next guy makes a play, Malachi makes a play, everybody's going nuts. So uh, it was just cool to be a part of, to see uh, the guys believe that it was their time to make a play. You know what I mean? So uh, it was cool, and I think the guys are just going to build off of it, and we're just going to keep rolling, hopefully. Something that Coach Collins has told us on a couple of occasions is how on Fridays when y'all do y'all's walkthrough and everything that the two Dylans where you were yeah. the Tyler's jerseys out mm -hmm. there, who's kind of started that and what does that kind of mean to you? Uh, it actually started with the tight ends, um, so um, that meant a lot. Uh, the day that Coach Collins, uh, I think he told Dylan uh, Devaney to come switch jerseys with me at first, and I'm like, what are you doing? And, uh, and then he kind of explained it, how uh, he'd be like honored to, to wear my jersey. So uh, that meant a lot to me because uh, I've been in here a long time, five years, so uh, it's crazy to see uh, that I was once Dylan Devaney in his shoes, and now I'm kind of in the older shoes. Um, it meant a lot to me. Uh, it meant a lot uh, how much I put into it, uh, that a freshman would come up to me and, and ask me something like that, and it uh, really means the world. It does. Yeah. So this is just me, like, as a writer, the symbolism of it all, and kind of right. like how the very first time we ever talked to you, a whole your whole big thing was, like, I want to lay the foundation right. for tight ends. Mm -hmm. And to kind of see that kind of come right. to fruition a little bit, yeah, I'm sure crazy. that means... A yeah. Lot to you. yeah, I mean, it's a big reason why I came here. That is the reason why I came here, to set the foundation for this culture that's going to live on for decades to come, you know what I mean? So um, it's awesome. Uh, and that's the stuff that I really, like, at the end of the day, uh, you get some, like, fruition, like, uh, some, um, you know what I mean? You feel good about that stuff. Uh, freshman coming up to you, you know what I mean? That he respects you, that he cares about you. So uh, it was really cool uh, when they did that. How well has he absorbed? What you have been teaching him and showing him as the season's going on. Both the Dillons? Yeah. You're talking about. Oh, uh, uh, they've, they've done a great job. I mean, I kind of uh, feel bad because I kind of push them more than, uh, than, than others, but uh, I'm always on top of them. Like, uh, anytime I see them sitting around for more than 10 minutes, I make them get up and do something because I'm like, <laughs> you're just wasting time. You know what I mean? The, 
and uh, we joke about it, but uh, in a way, I'm serious. Uh, but uh, I get them make up, and, and I'll make them do stuff. Uh, we'll go watch film. We'll go recover. We'll go lift. We'll do something. Uh, so uh, I've always been a very structured person, uh, just my schedule. So I kind of been getting these guys on the same type of uh, t- type of schedule. So I laid out for them exactly the way that I do it, and then they just tag along when they can, uh, schedules permitting. So uh, they bought in fully, and uh, I'm just proud of those two guys, the freshmen. I mean, as a freshman, I know that. I wouldn't want to be uh, kind of like bossed around as a, as a freshman by a senior, but um, they see, uh, I think they see how much I care about them. I think that's the most important thing. Um, I want them to be better than I am, you know what I mean, because I know that they can be. And uh, I hope in four years that when I turn on the TV and see that they're better than I am, that I played some part in that. I think uh, Coach Conchal Sam on his radio show that Sunday, they came in at 7.30, you guys, right. four of you were in the room, is that correct? Yeah, that's been, so that's been every Sunday. Uh, we keep the same process every single day. Uh, we have it down to, we've, we've perfected it pretty well uh, on the days we lift, the days we watch film, what time we watch film, how we, long we watch film, how long we get in the cold tub for, how long we get in the hot tub for, how long we recover for. So uh, you guys think Coach Collins uh, is structured. I kind of take it off of him, and uh, everything is, like, wired down to a minute. You know what I mean? Like, we'll, we have five-minute transition here. We got uh, 30 minutes to, to lift here. We got 13 minutes in the cold tub every day after practice here. So uh, I don't know. It's just in my, my DNA to be structured like that, and the guys are really buying into it. And uh, it's cool to see uh, when we have success um, on the field that it comes from that. Why, why that early? Uh, was it actually started at 7.30 or? Yeah, it was our, yeah. Uh, that's just the way we do things. Uh, I've never, uh, I've always been a morning guy, and I guess I've gotten these guys to be morning guys as well. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, uh, and especially coming down to the end, I mean, I'd rather sleep three hours and be here, you know what I mean, as a senior in your fifth year, you know what I mean? You kind of see the, the clock's uh, winding down, so uh, you try and be here at all hours. Um, I try and be in the building as much as I can. Um, being in this grad program, uh, grad school a little more, uh, less classes, right, less time, so you can be in the building more. So uh, it's been a good year for me to be able to really work uh, my process and be in the building the whole day and uh, try and do things and set a schedule for these young guys. How difficult, I guess, or I guess satisfying could it be to be, you know, you're not going to reap the rewards for the foundation right. that's been laid in terms of your own expectations on the field and getting right. to play for championships and those types of things. But right. being a part of building that culture here and setting that foundation and buying into what Coach Collins is kind of looking for you to do. And right. You said that was part of the selling point of coming here. Kind right. Of, what do you take away from that right. as you get into these last three games? I mean, that's the stuff that means the most to me. I mean, stats are stats, but when you lay a foundation down that's going to last for years to come, um, that's, that means more to me. You know what I mean? Because anybody can get stats, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm setting a standard right now for these young guys to hopefully learn, and uh, that's that's what means the most. Uh, at the end of the day, I mean, I don't care what my stats are. As long as I leave this place better than I found it, uh, I feel like uh, I did my job, I did my role, and I could turn on the TV a couple years from now and be really proud of uh, of what I did. Anything else for two days? What's kind of your scouting report on, on what those guys? On the Dillons, the the Dillons, right? That's how that's how it is now, right? The Tyler's and the Dillons, no, right? It's crazy how that works out, huh? Uh, oh, they're they're two very athletic players. Uh, I was impressed with them since day one they stepped on campus. I could tell just athletically they have it. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean Devaney, very uh, athletic for his size, uh, very shifty too for his size. Um, and Leonard is f- freaky, uh, freaky shifty and uh, runs great routes. Uh, and he, I'm really proud of him on the way that he's embraced the actual tight end position and blocking because I know neither of them really did any blocking in high school, right? They were just split out guys. Uh, and uh, both of them have really, since day one, they came and I was doing drills with them in the indoor. Uh, they fully bought into them. Um, we were doing drills. At, stupid times in the morning, right? We were doing drills at 5.30 in the morning and uh, before team runs, right? We'd get there before team runs and we'd do some drills, we'd get our footwork in. Um, and they've just embraced every single step of the way. And uh, I think um, it's gonna pay off for them and uh, hopefully that uh, they'll be able to, to pass it on to, to their freshmen when they're seniors and get a good tradition going with the tight ends. Anything else? All right, thanks. All right, appreciate you guys.